Remind me how much he weighed when he was born? Uh, he was 800. 800. With a preterm birth rate of nearly 13 percent, physicians at Nationwide Children's Hospital are caring for more fragile infants than ever before. Newborns like Josh Bell, who along with his twin Joey, entered the world two months sooner than expected. Both boys seemed to do well, then Josh took a turn for the worse. The doctor said that he was suspecting necrotizing enterocolitis, and of course we had never heard of anything like that before. Um, and our emotions was just running wild. We never suspected anything was wrong. One of 10 premature infants weighing less than about three and a half pounds is expected to develop a devastating and life-threatening disease attacking the intestines, known as necrotizing enterocolitis, or NEC. Josh would need surgery. By the time I saw him, he really was essentially dying of necrotizing enterocolitis. And if we didn't take him to the operating room immediately, he would not have survived. The Bell family put their trust in pediatric surgeon, Dr. Gail Besner. She was very serious and things seemed very grim. She was explaining that he was a very, very sick baby. And um, at that point, we didn't know if he would make it through surgery or not. Necrotizing enterocolitis has become the leading cause of death in this premature population. And if a baby develops necrotizing enterocolitis, it adds weeks and months onto their hospitalization. And if they need surgery for necrotizing enterocolitis, their mortality is 50%. But Dr. Besner and her team have been working for years to defy those odds, not only in the operating room, but here at the Center for Perinatal Research at the Research Institute at Nationwide Children's Hospital. It quickly became apparent to me that it would make a lot more sense to try to prevent these babies from developing this horrible disease rather than to treat the disease once it already occurs. Dr. Besner discovered a growth factor called HBEGF, a protein that helps wounds heal. For 20 years, she and her team of researchers have searched for a way to use HBEGF to protect the intestines against neck, finally engineering a form that can be administered to people. They expect to soon begin clinical trials. Really, there's probably no greater feeling in the research arena than the ability to do that. So it's just so exciting to us that we um, have the opportunity and have brought the research so far. It's the work that takes place in laboratories like this one that could have the greatest impact on patients. That's why Nationwide Children's Hospital is breaking ground on a new $93 million state-of-the-art research facility. And this will be a 225,000 square foot building dedicated to supporting our rapidly growing research enterprise. Set to open in late 2012, Research 3 will house the Battelle Center for Mathematical Medicine, the Center for Cardiovascular and Pulmonary Research, and the Center for Perinatal Research. It'll be an outstanding facility, high-tech, designed to support collaboration and collegiality. It will be one of the premier laboratory and office research facilities for pediatric research in the United States. This commitment to innovation and discovery is what's made Nationwide Children's home to one of the fastest growing pediatric research institutes in the country and has allowed life-saving research, like the kind happening here, to flourish. Because of Dr. Besner's research, the future is promising for premature infants at risk of developing neck. But until that day comes, she continues her life-saving work in the operating room, giving patients of today, like Josh Bell, a chance at a healthy life. Although she had to remove the majority of his small intestine, he survived surgery and continued to grow stronger in the days that followed. I think she humanly saved my son's life. <laughs> I can't help from getting emotional. So I'll never forget her for that. Today, Josh is a happy, energetic five-year-old, his mother's miracle, our inspiration.